What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya. In today's lesson, we're going to add variety to our English by learning 11 synonyms for it's very easy. Are you ready to expand your vocabulary? If so, grab a pen and your notebook and let's kick off. <laughs> So the first expression on my list today is one of my favorites because it's super funny, easy peasy. For example, could you put the shelf together? Easy peasy. We can also use easy peasy ironically when it's not easy at all. The following example is based on the series I'm watching right now and I totally love it. New Amsterdam. So in one of the episodes, Max, the main character, is dying because he has difficulty breathing and Helen is trying to help him on the phone. So she says to his wife, you need to cut a hole in his throat so that he can breathe. And his wife could have said, ironically, easy peasy. She didn't because she was petrified, but in this situation, when it's so complicated, you could say easy peasy, ironically. And I've got one bonus example, an extract from one of my favorite movies, Game Night. And in this situation, the same, it's used ironically because she has to remove a bullet and she also says easy peasy. You can see it if you click on the link right here. And there is a childish version of easy peasy and we have to add lemon squeezy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. For example, the exam was easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And now let's move on to the second synonym, which I also like a lot, a piece of cake, which means super easy. For example, the quiz was a piece of cake. And one more example, finding a parking spot was a piece of cake. The third alternative, a no-brainer. For example, this guy is not right for you. It's a no-brainer. You should get him out of your head. And another example, this decision is a no-brainer. I'm on board. To be on board means that someone agrees with a plan, idea, or a decision. Number four, this one is also very nice, a walk in the park. I love walking. For example, I'm not tired whatsoever. Running 10 kilometers is a walk in the park for me. And another example, swimming is a walk in the park compared to doing squats. Number five sounds great as well, a breeze. I have a friend who makes bracelets like these ones, or for example, this necklace. And whenever I like something before buying it, I always ask my friend. And for example, I ask her, could you make an earring like this one? And she answered, it's a breeze. And one more example, did you find it easily? It was a breeze. And guys, before we continue and look at more synonyms, just a super quick reminder, please make sure you're subscribed to English Bits and your bell icon is on. There is a weekly lesson waiting for you. Thank you. And now we're going to look at six more synonyms for it's very easy. Number six, not rocket science. For example, there was no sushi left in the supermarket. It's okay, we can make sushi at home. It's not rocket science. And one more example, I'm sure you can solve this math problem on your own. It's not rocket science. Number seven, we've got an adjective, foolproof. For example, 
assembling this night table is supposed to be foolproof. And one more example, could you adjust the hem? It's foolproof. To adjust the hem is when your pants are too long and you need to cut them to make them shorter. Number eight, there is nothing to it. For example, I'm sure you can take care of this cactus. There is nothing to it. And one more example, filling in this form won't take long. There is nothing to it. Number nine, it's no sweat. For example, you're gonna get to the finish line. You've got this, it's no sweat. And one more example, could you change a light bulb? It's no sweat. And now we're going to look at two British expressions. Number 10, child's play. Learning to edit is child's play thanks to this user-friendly software. And one more example, eating healthily is child's play if you have time to cook. And last but not least, number 11, a doddle. For example, the test was a doddle. And the last example, getting this job was a doddle. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for having watched this lesson. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. And if you know more expressions that I haven't mentioned in this lesson that mean it's very easy, please share them with me in the comments below. And guys, if you learned something new and enjoyed this lesson, please don't forget to give it a like, to subscribe to English Bits and catch me on Instagram for more daily English. Sorry for the noise, it's Fagas time in September. So thank you for having joined me today and see you next Sunday. Ciao for now!